everyone, this is Debbie. I'm here doing a video um, for cheerleaderhairpieces.com and we are showing how to attach right now our newest little hairpiece called Charmed. What I love about it, it's really cute. It's short in the back, has some long pieces here in the front and I'm just gonna show you how cute it is. I'll do another video after that's gonna show how well this can be teased up really cutely. So I wanna start that it's just like our other pieces. It does have a larger netting here. It has a front comb and a back comb and a large net here. And the difference is the drawstring is in the back. Not like the previous videos I did, the drawstring was on the on the left side or right, depending on how you put it on. So we're gonna start like we did with the others. Go ahead and turn sideways. And I'm gonna attach the back piece first. And we're gonna take this comb and slip it into her head, into her hair, underneath the elastic of this bun, right into the middle here, and hold it tight. I'm gonna take the netting and I'm gonna pull it over, make sure I'm covering that bun. Go ahead and come forward. And I'm gonna slip this comb here under the front of this elastic, okay? Now, remember I said that this drawstring is in the back. So go ahead and turn around and we're gonna show the back here. So here in the back is the drawstring. It's hard to see with all this hair, but I can feel it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it Remember, our hair pieces do have this lock stopper here on each of them that we're gonna put forward so that we can lock this hair in, in place. We'll still need to do a little bit more attaching, but that's doing a great job of securing the, the hair piece. Remember, the net is now going like this around the bun as soon as I'm pulling this tight. When I pull, I still wanna hold onto it with my thumb and forefinger on the back comb and then again on the front comb. There we go. I'm gonna pull tight. I'm gonna put this lock stopper in. And then this is where I normally ask Caitlin to help me and she's gonna put the hair up a little bit. We're gonna to turn to the side so you can see me rolling this because it's kind of hard to see from here. I have this string out here and I'm going to wrap it around once, pull it tight I'm gonna wrap it around a second time, pulling it kind of tightly. And then I'm opening this loop on my second time around and I'm putting it over my lock stopper here. Go ahead and let go, honey. Now, the hair pins that I like to use, now Caitlin helped me open these, are the long ones. Let me sit forward and I'm gonna, Caitlin's gonna show you on the back of her hand, the pins. For the lock stopper, I like using the longer pin here, and I'm going to put it through that loop and into her bun so I can make sure that that stays secured and locked. Now, if I was just doing a um, photo shoot with her or just having this done just for, for picture day or whatever it is, I'm okay not attaching any more um, things to her hair. But if I'm gonna be doing, turn around, if I'm gonna be doing any type of competition and I want this hair to stay, I'm gonna go ahead and add more hairpins. The hairpins, again, that I like to use for adding around are gonna be the short ones. The shorter ones are gonna go on the side of the hairpiece, into her hair is the bottom one, the top one is gonna go through the hairpiece and into the bun. And then I'm gonna do that for about three on each side. For right now, I don't need to do that. I want to show you the back of the hair piece. Look how cute the back of the hair piece is. It's a really short hair piece here. And then these long pieces can be brought forward this way, where we have the back like this. And this is the part that I want to tease that you're going to see in the next video. Or I can actually even bring these back as well, back here, turn around Caitlin, and show you how it is here. This is with these coming but a little bit forward. Let me grab a bow to stick on her head. Give me two seconds. I didn't get her bow ready, so I'm gonna grab one real quick. All right, I showed you in some of the other videos how easy it is to put a bow on, this, on these hair. You're just gonna hold it into a ponytail, slip the bow over, Place it where you want it. 
Now, with this hair piece, if I was doing it like this without teased, I still want to use the 1X50. This 1X50 is an all natural hairspray that is great for these hair pieces. It will not leave any glue residue on them. It will not leave it sticky. It brushes out very nicely. And it also will not leave any residue on the rhinestones on her bow. This can be purchased at cheerleaderhairpieces.com. You'll see it on their page with other things for their hair. I do a light mist on it to put it where I want. In this case, I think I'm gonna pull these little pieces forward. Give them a little spray. Go ahead and turn, please. I'm gonna pull this hair piece a little bit forward. Give this a little spray. And then, this is charmed. Go ahead and turn all the way around so they can see the back of the hair, how short it is. I'll be doing another video in just a moment where I'm gonna be teasing this up. And you'll see how cute this hair can be teased up as well. Go ahead and turn around. So if you're ready to order this hair piece, you can get it at cheerleaderhairpieces.com. It's under the name of Charmed. It does come in 25 colors. This color right here on my daughter is I Spy. If you have any questions, just post below and I'll try to answer them. Hope you guys all have a great night. Thank you.